going to gym and learning to code are very similar. Most people quit them for exact same reasons. I know this because I have quit both of them multiple times in my life. Before picking my courses in college, I would ask myself one question every single time. And that was, does this course require coding? And if it did, I would just stay away from the course. That's because after doing my first mandatory course in programming, I realized that coding is not my cup of tea and I quit programming. But as they say, when you try really hard to run away from something, it comes back to bite you in the ass. Fast forward five years, I was unemployed after graduation and I had to learn programming to get a job. And now, I work as a software engineer in Google. So how did I go from someone who is scared of programming to someone who knows enough coding to work as a software engineer? The answer is very simple. As a famous investor Charlie Munger constantly says, Just reverse the problem. Though I didn't know how to learn coding efficiently at the time, I just found a way not to fail at programming. By the end of this video, you will also know all the mistakes you need to avoid to not fail at learning programming. Imagine it's your first day at gym and I make you lift more than what you can handle. You'll be out of gym before even you begin. The same is true about coding. If you start learning JavaScript, React, C, C++ all at once, you'll surely quit programming before even you start your career. In my video on how YouTube ruined my career, I briefly touched upon this topic already. In my early days of learning coding, I used to refer to many people on YouTube and they would suggest different things to learn. As a result, I was learning web development, machine learning and Android development all at once. By doing that, I could not master any one of them. So when I applied for jobs and the employers tested me on my skills, I could not get past the phone screen round. It's only when I started focusing on one skill, which was Java in my case, that I started getting offers. Overlearning, along with law of correspondence, which we'll discuss later in the video, are some of the biggest reasons why most self-taught programmers fail. So understand your limitations and don't bite more than you can chew. Now imagine you go for a workout regularly, but you use the machines all wrong. This usually happens when people don't do their due research before picking their workout. One of the two things will happen if you do this. Either you injure yourself, or you will see no progress. In the programming world, this is similar to learning a new technology before doing your research. I see so many comments on my videos where people want to learn Python for front-end development. Yes, there are frameworks that can help you use Python for front-end development. But are there any well-known companies that actually use Python for front-end development? None that I know of. Research and strategizing are important not only to learn coding, but anything in life for that matter. Let me give you a recent example from my own life where strategizing really helped me. If you check our YouTube channel, you will see that we posted our first video on January 1st of this year. Before posting our very first video, we spent almost 4 months trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work on YouTube. That involved listening to people who have actually made it big on YouTube and watching a lot of their videos to figure out why they are so successful. As a result, we hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube within 6 months. And that's all because of you. We are overwhelmed with all the love you have given us and we'll continue to provide value for your time. Moving on, when it comes to strategizing for learning coding, you need to answer two main questions. What should you learn and how would you learn it efficiently? So before you aimlessly start watching that tutorial, write down what technology you want to learn and why. Why is your write should be practical and should come from your own research. After that, Write down all the resources you would use to learn this technology. Spend some time here, because if you do this step right, you can save yourself months when you actually start learning. If you are learning Python or Java, you can use some of my videos that will provide you all the free resources you need. Another reason people fail to learn programming is because they click too many pictures. Let me explain what I mean by that. Imagine that you are a newbie at gym, and every single day you click a picture to see your progress. What do you think will happen? You will see no progress and you will get demotivated. After a while, you will start blaming your metabolism or genes or whatever and stop going to gym. The same is true about coding. If you click too many mental pictures of yourself to track your progress as a programmer, you will quickly get demotivated and quit. That's because to master any new skill, you need to give it time. Humans have this tendency of overestimating what they can achieve in the short term and underestimating what they can achieve in the long term. If you are a beginner, and I ask you how good of a programmer you will become in 6 months from now. Most of you will not reach the level you think you can in 6 months. But if I ask you where you would be in 3-4 years from now, many of you might be working at top tech companies or maybe have their own companies. So stop questioning your abilities by taking these daily snapshots of yourself. Pick a well researched path, stick to it and I guarantee that you will reach somewhere great in the end. Another reason why many self-taught programmers fail is because they focus on the gaps instead of gains. I have taken this idea from this amazing book and let me explain what it means. Imagine that you go to gym regularly but you constantly compare yourself to the gym bros. You will surely feel demotivated and soon you will quit. That's because you are focusing on the gap. 
which is the difference between where you want to be and where you are instead if you focused on the gains which is the difference between where you were and where you have reached you would be in a much better state of mind to succeed if i had to share my personal experience i went to a very well known college back in india and many of my classmates have done much better than me in life one of them is even a co-founder at a company that is valued more than half a billion dollars and if i start comparing myself to them i would not be able to make these youtube videos for you but i choose to focus on my own path and keep adding value in whatever small way i can so stop comparing yourself to that friend who has cracked some big name company and focus on your daily practice your own progress and your own journey if you ask people how they are able to go to gym regularly many people would tell you that it's because they have a gym buddy gym buddies do two things for you one they spot you in the exercises if the weight becomes too heavy for you two on the days it's raining outside and you are feeling lazy to go to gym gym buddies hold you accountable and make sure you don't miss your workout another reason why many people fail to learn coding is because they try to do it all alone programmers also need coding buddies for their coding workouts when understanding tough concepts becomes hard for you coding buddies step in to spot you and help clear your doubts on the days you have to choose between going to a party or leaving your coding exercise unfinished coding buddies make sure you don't falter and stay on track so find some friends who can support you in your coding journey and learn from each other one more reason why people fail at coding is because they don't understand the law of correspondence according to this law your circumstances are a mirror of your inner being in other words what happens around us is a direct reflection of what's happening within us but how does it apply to programming it's very simple if you want to learn programming you have to behave like a programmer programming at its core is nothing but problem solving and how do programmers solve problems mostly by reading code its documentation and applying their learnings to the problem during the last 15 months that i've spent at google i have read at least 10 times more code than i have written but most programmers never take time to read code and documentation i understand that at the beginning you need some hand holding so watching tutorials and copying what others are doing is fine but at some point you have to break free and start building your own projects once you start doing that you will never look back the most common reason why self taught programmers fail is because they don't know how good they are you see It's very easy to look at others who are doing great in their programming careers and think that you are not as good as them. That's what I felt when I was getting rejected by pretty much every company that I interviewed for. In reality, all these other people were in exact same situation as you when they started out. Trust me when I say this. The person that you look up to and aspire to be like is just you in the future. So don't give up just yet. Last reason why people fail to learn programming is because they watch a lot of bad content on YouTube. If you want to know how YouTube ruined my career, you can watch this video at the top. My name is Sahil and I'll see you in the next one.